Imagine stepping into a room where your arrival shifts the atmosphere. Your entry commands respect. Your contributions are immediately recognized and your opinions are sought after. This isn't just wishful thinking. It's the result of mastering an ancient art, one that is steeped in stoic wisdom. Today, you're about to learn the nine powerful psychological strategies that can elevate your standing and make you a priority in any situation. You know the frustration of being undervalued and overlooked. You put in the effort, but it seems like you're a shadow even in broad daylight. It's a common story, but it doesn't have to be yours. Stoicism offers a counterintuitive lesson. True value comes from within and is not diminished by external oversight. Yet it's undeniable that gaining priority in the eyes of others can lead to significant advantages, whether in your career or personal life. These strategies we're about to explore aren't just theoretical. They are practical, actionable, and have stood the test of time. They will not only earn you the recognition you deserve, but will also bolster your inner fortitude. As we delve into these strategies, keep in mind that they are more than just techniques. They are part of a transformative process, a shift in mindset that begins with how you see yourself and radiates outward. So if you're ready to not just be noticed and but to be given precedence, stay with me. This is not about capturing a fleeting moment of attention, it's about establishing a powerful presence that persists and makes an impact well beyond your initial interaction. Let's start the process toward a more respected, prioritized you. 1. Command your space. Let's get straight to the heart of it. You wouldn't stand for second place in the office, on the field, or at the gym. So why accept it in life's pecking order? It's not about ego. It's about respect, for yourself above all. When you choose to invest your time and energy, do it where it counts. If there's no mutual recognition of worth, it's time to reassess your alliances. By choosing environments where your value is acknowledged, you naturally elevate your status. Remember, you don't have the reins on how others value you, but you're the emperor of your own self-regard. Want to be the main act in life's play? Start by giving yourself the lead role in your personal epic. 2. Forge your own joy. Here's a straight shot of truth. Anchoring your happiness to someone else is like building a house on sand. It shifts and crumbles without warning. The man who is master of his own joy holds a power no one can strip away. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotion. It's about sourcing your satisfaction from the ironclad parts of life you control. Ever notice how folks are drawn to someone who's got their act together? That's no fluke. It's the magnetism of self-sufficiency. Find pleasure in your daily routine, your personal achievements, the quiet moments of contemplation. This isn't about retreating to a solitary life. It's about being so grounded in your own happiness that you become the rock, not the waves crashing against it. That's the kind of man who doesn't just end up on someone's priority list. He tops it. Three. Master the art of presence by absence. It's a basic law of nature. The scarce resource is the most valued. If gold was as common as gravel, it would be worth as much. Apply this to your presence. When you're always on tap, you become just another part of the landscape, easy to overlook. No stoic sage ever won respect by being at everyone's beck and call. Let's keep it real simple. Be the gold, not the gravel. It's not about playing games or measuring out your minutes with a miser's hand. It's about having a life so engaging, so full of purpose and passion, that your availability is naturally limited. You're not hiding away. You're rising up, engaging in pursuits that sharpen your mind and fortify your soul. And here's the clincher. When you do grant someone your time, it's not just another slot in your schedule. It's an event. They'll feel it too. Your presence becomes a privilege not a given. 4. Keep your orbit. Command their interest. Let's delve into the paradox of desire. The world chases after what retreats from it. The rarest treasures are those not easily gained. In your relationships, if you make someone your son, your entire world revolving around them, you risk becoming just another satellite, predictable, constant, taken for granted. Consider the opposite, a life where you are the sun and others are drawn into your gravity. It's about cultivating a life so rich, so interesting, 
that you don't need to orbit anyone else and they feel the pull of your passions, your projects, your growth. This isn't about playing hard to get, it's about being hard to forget. You know that old saying, grass is always greener on the other side? There's truth to it. People are naturally intrigued by the unattainable, the unoccupied, the sovereign. So, when you stay invested in your own path, when you don't make them the epicenter of your existence, you become the greener grass. You're not aloof, you're just self-aligned. And in that self-alignment, you become a mystery, a challenge, a goal. Your presence becomes a reward, not a given right. And suddenly you'll find they're seeking your attention, not the other way around. This is the essence of allure, the secret to becoming a priority in their lives without even asking for it. 5. Hold the power to step back. The ultimate act of self-respect. The readiness to fold them and walk away. Whether it's a negotiation, a bad deal, or a one-sided relationship, the willingness to step back is the purest form of self-prioritization. Stoicism teaches us to detach from outcomes and focus on our own actions and values. This isn't about giving up, it's about stepping up for your own well-being. In the grand theatre of life, knowing when to exit stage left is as important as making an entrance. It's not a rash move, nor is it a surrender, it's a strategic retreat. Remember, the strongest position you can ever hold is one where you're not bound by the need for any single outcome. Think of it like this, every time you're willing to walk away, you send a signal flare into the world that says, I value myself enough not to settle. This isn't about arrogance, it's about self-assurance, and the moment you start to move away is often the very moment that others begin to take a step closer, recognizing the value that they stand to lose. Walking away isn't an end. It's a declaration of worth. It's a pause for reflection a space where you weigh the scales of your life. Does this situation merit your time, your energy, your passion? If not, you have the strength, the courage, and the stoic wisdom to withdraw and redirect those resources to where they are recognized and valued. So hold this power close, use it wisely and with a clear heart. Sometimes the most powerful move you can make is to take a step back, and in doing so, you may just find that everything else takes a step forward. 6. Cultivate the fear of losing you. Let's look at a hard-hitting strategy, showing the world what it means to miss you. It's a truth as old as time. We often don't realize the worth of something until it's no longer around. This isn't about manipulation. It's about demonstrating your intrinsic worth. The Stoics believed in the power of self-sufficiency and not being overly attached to external validation. Now, this isn't about playing games or giving someone the cold shoulder. It's subtler than that. It's about making your time and your emotional investment something that isn't guaranteed. Pull back a little. Let your presence be something they earn. Diversify your attention. Spread your time across your interests and relationships. When you do, something shifts. They start wondering about you, about what has changed. That space you leave prompts reflection on your value and, most importantly, the fear of losing your place in their life. This has to be done with a nuanced touch. You're not vanishing, you're just recalibrating your attention. Show that while you value them, your world is vast and full of places and people who value you in return. When done right, you create a balance where they start to appreciate your worth and naturally want to move you higher up on their list of priorities. Remember, a man who knows his worth makes the world take notice. Your balanced withdrawal is a reminder of your value. It's not about making them chase you. It's about showing them what they stand to lose if they don't step up. 7. The allure of the unsaid. Mystery has always had a magnetic pull. In a world where oversharing is the norm, holding back is a power move. A stoic knows the value of silence and the strength in reserve. When it comes to relationships and interactions, Revealing every card in your hand is not just unnecessary, it's unwise. The people you meet should earn every piece they learn about you. So, how do you maintain this mystique? Start by sharing just enough to pique interest. A tease of your depth, not the full story. Your hobbies, your passions, your dreams. Let them out in trickles, not floods. When asked about your past, give them a canvas with broad strokes, not the fine details. This isn't deceit, it's discretion. This approach stirs curiosity. It invites the other person to lean in, to question, 
to seek more, and in doing so, you become the puzzle they can't help but want to solve. In their minds, you grow in importance simply because you're not an open book. There's always another layer to uncover, another aspect to discover. In essence, you're inviting them on an adventure to uncover the treasure that is knowing you. But they won't find this treasure lying on the surface, it's hidden, it's valuable and it's worth their time and effort. This is how you embed yourself in someone's thoughts, becoming a priority, because the human psyche is wired to value what it doesn't fully understand. 8. The Currency of Investment Investment is the cornerstone of value. Think about it. The more you pour into something, the more you're committed to its success and value. This principle is crucial in relationships as well. By encouraging others to invest in you, their perception of your importance naturally increases. How do you do this? It's all about balance. Yes, you should be approachable, but not at the expense of being undervalued. Let's say you have an opportunity to spend time together, but you're genuinely tied up. Communicate this. It's not about playing hard to get, it's about being honest with your commitments. This integrity shows that you're a man of substance, not just passing time. When they do make an effort to fit into your schedule, acknowledge it. Appreciation can be a powerful reinforcer. It subtly lets them know that their effort is noticed and that not everyone gets the same privilege. This is the dance of give and take, where they extend effort and you, in turn, recognize it, making every interaction count. The key here is not to stretch this to the extreme. You're not building walls, you're setting standards. This is not about being superior, it's about mutual respect. When they understand that time with you is not a given, but a gift, you become a priority. It's the delicate balance of stoic wisdom, knowing your worth and allowing others to realize it through their own volition. 9. The Art of Silence Silence speaks volumes. In a world cluttered with constant noise and chatter, the absence of your voice can be louder than its presence. If you're always the one reaching out, initiating every conversation, you may unwittingly lessen your value in the eyes of others. It's human nature. We chase that which retreats from us. Consider the strength of a silent approach. When you hold back, you're sending a clear signal. Your attention is not given lightly. It must be earned. This isn't about playing games or manipulation. It's rooted in a deep respect for oneself. It's a powerful display of self-sufficiency, echoing the stoic belief that inner peace and contentment come from within, not from external validation. By pausing your impulses to initiate contact, you create space. In this space, the other party has room to move towards you. It's a testament to their interest and the value they place on your relationship. If they reach out, it reaffirms your connection. If they don't, it provides you with valuable information about where you truly stand. This tactic should not be about testing the other person, but rather about rebalancing the dynamics of your interaction. It's an opportunity for reflection, for both parties. And when the conversation restarts, it's on a more even keel, with a deeper appreciation for the dialogue and the individuals involved. In the end, your communication should be like a rare commodity, sought after, not squandered. This is the epitome of stoic wisdom, knowing when to speak and when to let the silence do the talking. In closing, your blueprint to becoming a priority. As we draw the curtain on these nine strategies, it's essential to engrave the underlying philosophy into your approach. You are the architect of your worth and the master of your destiny. These strategies are not mere manipulations but reflections of the strength and poise that come from the Stoic tradition, embracing inner fortitude and the power of a self-reliant spirit. Bear in mind that while these tactics can shift the scales in your favor, they're not magical incantations that compel others to prioritize you. People have their agency, their choices, and their free will. What these strategies do is allow you to present yourself as a person of value, a person who respects themselves enough to not settle for less. In embracing these steps, you're not just seeking to change the external perception, but to elevate your intrinsic valuation. Whether it's cultivating happiness within, maintaining a touch of mystery, or the strategic retreat of your presence, each step is about enhancing your self-regard. 
It's also a journey of balance, balancing kindness with self-respect, availability with self-importance and investment with self-preservation. And in the Stoic view, it is this balance that is the hallmark of a life well lived. So, as you embark on this path, do so with mindfulness and integrity. Make these strategies your allies, but let your character be your guide. Thank you for investing your time with us. As you step forward, remember that the most significant priority is to live a life true to yourself, with wisdom, courage, and a touch of stoic serenity. If this video struck a chord with you, if it made you nod along or sparked a thought, then let's lock in that moment of connection. Go ahead and hit the like button. It's a simple click for you, but it means the world to us. It tells us we're on the right track, providing content that resonates and adds value to your life. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Join our community of like-minded individuals, where we dive deep into the art of living with purpose and conviction. By subscribing, you're not just gaining access to content, you're claiming your spot in a brotherhood that values the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. Remember, every like and subscription is a building block in the creation of content that empowers you. So if you're ready to embark on this journey with us, make your mark, like, subscribe, and let's walk this path together.